全球七十亿人有七十亿对手，当有一队能够做出最感动人嘅意粉，仲用埋自己个名命名；另一队就设计出血浓于水嘅服装，用嚟联系母女感情。即使系一间咖啡，一样好多对手各自卖力。于是乎，牛角包除咗饱肚，仲可以令你大开眼界。合作過嘅 New York Fashion Designer Lacy Thon 啱啱就移民咗嚟香港，仲為我哋帶嚟呢一個親子系列貼。可能都因為初為人母，所以就走去設計母女裝啦。Lacy, thank you for having us here today. So I really want to know how did you start designing for your own line for daughters and mothers? Well, I had a 10-year design career in New York City as a fashion designer. Um, I graduated from Parsons School of Design and I always knew that fashion was what I wanted to do with my life. Um, so when I moved to Hong Kong, I saw that there was a need in the market for fashionable mother-daughter clothing and so I decided to move forward with my own clothing line. So in terms of um, the design thing, um, for designing for adults and designing for children, what are the big differences or and is there big um, difficulties designing the two? Yeah, I mean, designing for a modern woman is very different than designing for a child and so having a clothing line that tries to bring those two things together can be very challenging. So we want to make the women feel beautiful while still maintaining that connection with their child because that's what the whole purpose of the brand is about. So if for things that we look for in children is soft, stretchy, comfortable, but really cute so it goes back and ties back into that mother style which is sophisticated, contemporary and cool. Lacey, 最新嘅 collection 颜色咧就以黑白红为主调。而图案方面，简洁得嚟，又有丰富嘅视觉效果，仲好有大都会嘅感觉。纽约同香港，原来真系两新花嚟噶。So can you tell me a little bit about your current collection? Yeah, well, you know, I moved to Hong Kong very short time ago, and having come from New York City, the the joining of those two cities was very interesting to me. So the collection is really inspired by the urban landscapes of New York versus Hong Kong. New York with the gritty kind of clean lines, very um, architecture inspiring. But then Hong Kong is very similar to that, but it has the nature elements of it as well, which is where I get a lot of inspiration for my prints. And uh, what are some examples of the landscapes that you chose for both collections? The collection, you can see animals, you can see flowers, you can see geometric prints. So both of them kind of tie into the ways that I kind of saw New York City. And then leaving New York City and coming to Hong Kong and being just bowled over by the natural beauty here. Because it's a city in a very beautiful natural environment and I just thought it was amazing. And lastly, to you personally, which skyline do you like more, the New York skyline or the Hong Kong skyline? Oh my gosh, that's hard to choose. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I would have to say Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. I lived in New York, I love it there, and it will always have my heart. But Hong Kong has a vibrancy to it, it has an energy to it, like no other city in the world. This series used the mouth as the theme. Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the world? Is it the most popular animal in the